Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I just wanted to make a very short informal video to help you choose between economics and political science as a choice of major in undergraduate. Now the first thing that I'll say is that I personally was an economics major and I minored in political science so I have a decent understanding of some of the coursework, some of the job prospects for both of these majors. The second thing that I'll say is there is a large amount of overlap between economics and political science. For example, if you study economics, you're going to learn how businesses produce, how much they charge, what quantity they produce. You'll also learn things about government spending, the national debt. But if you study political science, you'll also learn about governments, you'll learn how they work, you'll learn about imports and exports, and you'll learn about the World Trade Organization. So there's really a lot of overlap and everything that's done in a business environment, anything that's done in an economic environment is governed by laws and regulations that are the result of political processes. So if you can learn a little bit about both, I think that's the most beneficial. But if you're forced to choose between economics and political science, which one do you choose? I might be a little bit biased, but I personally think that economics is the better choice of major. Now, if you really want to learn political science and that's where your heart is, go for it. This video is more for some people that are undecided between the two majors. And the number one reason that I recommend economics if you're unsure is because economics is much, much more flexible of a degree. What I mean by that is I've very rarely seen something that requires a political science degree that doesn't also accept an economics degree, but I've seen many times where something requires an economics degree but doesn't accept a political science degree. So right out of college, you're going to have a lot of job opportunities with your economics degree. And a large reason for that is because of the training and the coursework you take as an undergrad in economics. Typically, and this is based off my experience, Economics programs require much more mathematics. So for my economics program, I had to take two courses of statistics. I had to take econometrics, which is doing a lot of regression analysis, things like that. And then on my own, I took some linear algebra, some calculus. So the economics program gives you a large mathematical background. So right out of your program, you can go into general management. You can go into a PhD program in economics. Uh, I, I had one friend that went to additional schooling and became a data scientist doing uh, data analytics and everything like that. One of my friends went to work for a mortgage company. One went to work for a stock company. So you can have a large amount of options just right after graduation. With political science, like I said, there's going to be a lot of jobs that require an economics degree, a business degree, a finance degree, an accounting degree, but a political science degree will not qualify you for those jobs. Any job that really requires a political science degree, for the most part, they will accept an economics degree as well. So right off the job market, economics gives you a, a more variety, more options in terms of your job prospects. Typically, you can look the figures up for yourself because it's always changing, but economics usually has higher paying salaries. So, if you want to be a professor or an economist, if you want to be an economist, I'll be upfront and tell you guys that you are not going to be an economist with a bachelor's degree. The World Bank, the Federal Reserve is not going to come to you as an undergrad and say, hey, what's your opinion on this policy matter? You're going to have to get a master's, a PhD, something like that. That's just the way it is. There's a lot of great opportunities, but you won't be like an economist. So if you really want to teach economic theory, develop economic theory or political theory, you're going to have to get the master's and the PhD. So between those getting the master's in economics or political science, it's the same requirements. One thing that I would say is the economics degree, again, even when you're looking at a graduate career, graduate education, it gives you a lot more flexibility. So when I was applying to my PhD in economics, it's a strict requirement that you have to have certain math courses. I think from the lowest requirements that I found was calculus, linear algebra, um, maybe calculus too. And those are the bare minimum requirements to get into an economics PhD. If you're trying to get into some of the better schools, you're going to be looking at where they want you to have three years of calculus, uh, differential equations, linear algebra, all that kind of stuff. Whereas when I was looking at applying to a political science PhD, 
they didn't have that stringent of a mathematical requirement. So, I was accepted into an economics PhD and then I decided that I wanted to leave and go to the army, but before I left for the army, I looked at transferring to a PhD in political science. And it was going to be easy for me to go from an economics PhD to a political science PhD, whereas if you do political science as an undergrad, you're not having that strong mathematical background. So it's going to be very hard for you to complete an undergrad in political science and then try to apply to an economics PhD. Whereas if you do an economics undergrad, it's going to be comparatively easier for you to get into a political science PhD. So, summing everything up, if you have a strong preference for economics over political science, make, make that pick based on preference. But if you're in, undecided, if you're really not sure, I would strongly encourage you to look at economics because it's going to give you much more options in terms of jobs post-graduation and it's also going to give you more options in terms of uh, graduate school, further education. And that's, you know, that's nothing wrong with political science, it's just that economics has a much more mathematically intensive background and once you have that background it's easier to transfer it to other areas whereas the, the, PA, the undergrad in political science you're not getting that strong mathematical foundation. So if you do the political science and then want to go to an econ PhD, you're going to have to do a lot of mathematics on your own. You're going to have to be playing catch up essentially. So that's my advice. I hope it helps you all out. Uh, like I said, it's based off my experiences. If you have anything to add, if you have any further questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to address them. Hope you all have a great day.